There are many misconceptions about what a shelter should be or is. In my opinion, a shelter is an intervention. A shelter is meant to be a place where you bring an animal to when it is in pain, it's got injured, it's in distress, and it requires help. A shelter should just be a place like a hospice or a rehabilitation point where an animal can be looked after, given good medical care, nutrition, and then it should go back to its own area to be taken care of by the public, by the people who have already been looking after it, like feeding it before it came to us, or like the people who called us when they first found the animal in trouble. So a shelter is not supposed to be a permanent place to keep an animal forever. When Friendicos began, we got in animals that were genuinely hurt and required treatment. But today, unfortunately, things have changed dramatically over the last four decades. We are getting more and more abandoned pets who have been left in the street and therefore have got injured or animals that are just unwanted. Uh, people get a pet, they get tired of it, it has chronic health problems, they don't want to put in the extra energy into looking after the animal. Or perhaps, undoubtedly, there are some family problems and they can't manage the pet anymore. And these animals are all dumped at the shelter. So the irony is that the very same people who plead with us to please take just that one animal that they cannot manage, might perhaps be the very ones to criticize us when they find how overcrowded we are or how many animals we are taking care of in very limited space. So I honestly urge people that when you come to a shelter, remember the overcrowding or the problems that you see there are problems that the public has created for us. Because after all, we're only human, we have limited money, we have limited space, we have limited resources. Every time any one of us shirks our responsibility of taking care of our pet or maybe taking care of the community pet that is sitting in front of our gate or in our driveway, every time we feel we cannot make the extra effort and we bring the animal to a shelter and we leave it there, you're actually depriving an animal who's really in need, an animal with a huge maggot wound, with a fracture, an animal which is genuinely unowned, who has no one to sponsor it to take care of it, that animal then gets denied a place in our shelter because there's simply no space left. So one must really think hard if one cannot help an animal, take care of it in the street, and genuinely need to come to a shelter like ours to leave the animal for a long period of time. Most people are compassionate. Most people do feel extremely upset when they see an animal in pain on the street. Many of them feel very helpless because they don't know what to do when they see an animal writhing in pain. They can't decipher or diagnose what is wrong with the animal. And that's fine. That's the time you should come to a shelter. That's what we are there for. We'd help, to, help you to diagnose the problem, help you to know what medication to give. But please, your responsibility shouldn't end there. Do involve yourself even when the animal is at the shelter. Visit us, help us, walk the animals, make friends with not just the dog you brought in or the cat you brought in or the bird you brought in, but also with the other animals in need at the shelter. Participate. That is so essential and that is what we often find is missing these days. When Friendicos first began, it used to be wonderful with so many volunteers coming in to help us with the animals and to come back, to walk, and to take the animals, show them some love, petting, caring. All that is part of the healing of an animal. It's not simply medicines and food. Just being petted and looked after and loved, it makes an animal get healthier much faster. So remember, when you come to a shelter, become a part of it. Start participating. Come and work with us. That would definitely go a long way to the healing of the animals. Plus, that's the true meaning of a shelter. It's an opportunity for you to serve. It's an opportunity for uh, people who love animals to come and interact with them. Thank you very much.